In this video, I will be discussing IP cameras. Specifically, I will be looking at how to identify IP cameras based on their physical structure. I will also look at the two types of IP cameras, that is POE IP cameras and non-POE IP cameras. Among the other things I will be looking at in this video include the functions of each of the terminals of the IP camera as well as the use of PoE splitters in IP CCTV installation. If this is your first time visiting this channel, please subscribe. One very important physical identity feature of an IP or network camera is the Ethernet connection port as part of its terminals. This is an Ethernet connection port. You will only find it on IP or network cameras. You will come across CCTV cameras like this one that have their terminals like this. They are analog cameras. Even though their videos can be viewed either on a phone or a PC. There are two categories of IP cameras based on how power is supplied to the camera. There are POE IP cameras and there are non-POE IP cameras. I will explain the differences. For POE IP cameras, power to the camera is supplied via the Ethernet port of the camera. This means that once an Ethernet cable is connected to the Ethernet port, it both supplies power to the camera and video is also taken through the same Ethernet port. It therefore means that it only requires just the network cable plugged into the Ethernet port to fully connect the camera. This is an example of a non-POE IP camera. You will notice that POE is not stated on it, unlike the POE IP cameras. Some brands may state it that it is a non-POE camera, but once it is not stated, it's mostly the case that it is not a POE IP camera. Non-POE IP cameras do not take their power through the Ethernet port of the camera. The power is rather taken through the DC power connector on the camera. This device called the PoE splitter is therefore required in non-POE IP camera installations. It takes in the Ethernet cable from the PoE switch and splits it into video and power for the non-POE IP camera. I will demonstrate how it works. This cable coming from the POE switch will go into the POE splitter like this. And these ends will go into the camera. I want to demonstrate that. So this one will go into this one and this also goes this way. The camera is therefore connected. Let me conclude by emphasizing the functions of each of the terminals of the IP camera. 
when you take a typical IP camera, it may have all these three terminals or just the Ethernet connection port in the case of PoE IP cameras, which uses the Ethernet port for both power and video transmission. This port serves as power connection for non-PoE IP cameras. This extra port in some IP cameras serves as an audio connection for IP cameras that have microphones built into them for sound pickup. 